and 303. I hope you enjoy this video. Warning, don't try anything I do without taking proper precautions. Protect your skin, eyes, and lungs. This is deconstructing the golden chicken looking thing, part three. At the end of part two, we had copper plated brass pieces that were undissolved that weighed just over 22 grams. We also had some pieces that might be silver plating that were about 37 milligrams. We had some sediment that we left drying in a petri dish and we had a large amount of blue liquid that was probably copper acetate and zinc acetate mixed together and then we mixed what we thought might have been mostly zinc acetate in with that solution. I hand drew a chart to kind of explain what I thought was happening in the beaker. Okay, okay, three, hold on. Why don't you tell them to just go back and watch the first two so they'll know what's going on? Well, I thought that was kind of obvious since this is part three. The recap was for people that have seen the first two parts. So let's go, let's get started. Okay, so here's our beaker again. And again, we've got the copper plated brass pieces in there. And we added 100 milliliters of vinegar. And to that, we're going to add 50 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. And we're going to give a little swirl here. And then we're going to bust out the super scientific hot plate. This time, we're only going to put as much heat as it takes to get it to where it just barely steams. We're not going to jack it up to max. And we're gonna add another 50 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide here. Uh, that's a pretty good reaction. Just so you know, a lot of this footage is sped up to two times the normal speed. So what we're going to do next is we're going to decant off the solution liquid into a larger beaker while it's nice and blue. These pieces don't look copper plated at all, which is a good thing. So now that we have that liquid off, we're going to add 100 milliliters of fresh vinegar and... 50 more milliliters of fresh hydrogen peroxide. So if this seems redundant, I'm very sorry, but we're going to continue to do the same thing because it seems like it's working. We're going to take the liquid off while it's nice and blue. And then we're going to add another 100 milliliters of vinegar and another 50 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. So here I added another 50 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide off camera. And guess what? We're going to repeat the same process over again. Decant the liquid while well, it's nice and blue. And then add 100 milliliters of vinegar. And 50 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. This was just interesting. It had a thick coating of bubbles on the top. I'm not sure if they were carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide. They were big bubbles. It took a while, but the bubbles subsided. That was the first and only time that they were that pronounced. 
So now we're going to pour the liquid off again. I think this might be like the fourth time that we've done this. I can tell by looking at it a lot more of the materials actually dissolving. I do think that in the first two videos, the material was dissolving. It was just plating back out or precipitating back out. There goes another 100 milliliters of vinegar and another 50 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. I think this will be the fifth time that we've done this. Pour out the liquid and start over with fresh acid. And we're going to add 100 milliliters of vinegar. And this time we're going to add 100 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. So this time I poured the liquid off, off camera. And you can see the solid undissolved pieces and we took most of the clear liquid and put it into the thousand milliliter beaker and we're going to try to reduce this down for storage now there's no undissolved particles to cause the copper to precipitate out and there's nothing for it to plate on so I figure we can crank it up to high to try to bring the volume down so we can put it in the container and put it away for now now you can see that it's starting to boil and starting to reduce the reason why I didn't take all the liquid off and put it in the thousand milliliter beaker is I decanted off the top to let any sediment that was remaining in the solution to fall to the bottom and off camera I washed the undissolved pieces several times and let the sediment fall out and separate that from the rest of the solution then I'll be adding that once it clears out to this beaker and here you can see the level went up and it's boiling more. That's because I added the other part of the solution when the sediment fell out and it cleared up. It doesn't appear that anything is settling out of this solution now that I've got it all in there and boiling pretty good. Since I believe that this solution is copper acetate and zinc acetate, if something does settle out, it will more than likely be copper acetate or zinc acetate. It'll be the crystalline salt of the metal acetate and not pure metal. So now you can see in the two smaller beakers on the back of the super scientific hot plate, that is the undissolved metal and the sediment drying out. And this is about as far as I want to reduce it right here. This time our undissolved material does not look copper plated. And it's all dried out. And this is way 15.665667 grams. So that means we should have about another six and a half grams dissolved in the solution. We also have our 37 milligrams, what might be silver plate, and this is the sediment from everything we've done so far that we've saved. And it's 0.326 grams, or about a third of a gram. It may still contain some water because it's only been air dried. These are the two solutions. The one on the left is more translucent from part one and part two. The more opaque on the right is the one from this video. So three, why do you think this is working better? What's different? Well, going back to this chart, each time we decanted off the solution, we tried to do it before this started happening.
so that way both the copper and the zinc would stay in the solution as aqueous copper acetate and aqueous zinc acetate. I'm going to wrap up part three here. I need some more material. That noise is the neighbors getting their roof redone, so it's really hard to concentrate. You'll be back soon, right three? Part four, coming soon. The end.